Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already done it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and don't forget to ring that bell so you get a notification every time I put up a new video. I'm Rupert and this is my farming life. So what are we doing today? As you can see I've got the uh, fertilizer spreader on the back, it's the uh, Amazon ZAV, just putting some uh, polysulfate out on the spring barley, which is uh, coming up quite nicely now. And we're just going to go up this uh, it's a bumpy old track, but it is one of our main tracks. Uh, yeah, 100 kilos per hectare we're putting it on at. Flat rate. Uh, I've already done all the winter barley. Uh, all the winter barley, we've only got one field of winter barley. Uh, all the winter wheat and the winter barley back in... Uh, early March time, uh, well as soon as it was dry enough to travel really, um, you know, before, I did, did, uh, before I even thought about spring drilling. Uh, yeah we were in a lucky situation where we did actually manage to get pretty much all our winter crops in apart from uh, about 10 hectares. So what can I tell you? Uh, yeah, new to uh, vlogging and making videos on YouTube. And uh, this interesting time that we live in, I thought it'd be nice to try something new. So that's why I'm here. Hopefully you guys will like my videos and hopefully I'll like making them, keep, keep, uh, keep making them. Uh, what inspired me to do this? Um, shout out to Nick at Nick's farm, Ollie at Ollie's farm, Henry at Henry's farming photography, and also the guys down at Four Winds Farms. Um, and finally Andy at uh, It's My Farming Life. All of them uh, good channels, check them out. I enjoy watching them. So, put the hydraulics into constant pumping. Hold this button until the bleep stops, and then that's your discs spinning. And put the boundary spreader on, and off we go, ready to go. So, this spreader is uh, run by oil, oil pressure. Discs are on oil, which is nice. Which, uh, if you change gear, uh, problem with the PTO, especially on a hill, if you change gear, the discs slow down and speed up, which can uh, cause striping in the in the uh, in the crop. Uh, with hydraulic, you don't get that. Um, the spread is also automatic section control running through the Green Star system. Uh, I can show you that in a little bit. Uh, it's also variable rate. This is not variable rate, as I said earlier. It's uh, flat rate, 100 kilos per hectare. Uh, once I finish this this morning, this afternoon, I will probably be moving on to some MOP on the spring barley. Uh, and I can show you how the variable rate works on that. Uh, we basically, we get our fields mapped every four years. And, um, yeah, they send the, send the VR files out on a, uh, not VR, that's virtual reality, uh, shape files. They send the shape files out on a USB disk, so I just stick them in the side of the screen, download them, and uh, off we go. Uh, we also use uh, Verbal Rate for uh, drilling. Put the seed where it's needed. Yeah, 
any questions you might have for me stick them in the comments below I will read them all I'll try and answer them all as well um, you know anything that I'm doing that you don't like tell me that anything I'm doing that you do like tell me that as well it's all good to know I don't know whether you can see this guys, we're just coming in to the edge of the field here on the angle and you should be able to see the sketch control start shutting off from the right as it starts overlapping. Very clever the way it works. So why are we putting this uh, polysulfate on? Um, basically the main reason is sulphur in the name uh, it's got a small amount of mag in it um, and a bit of calcium we used to put the keys right on which was just uh, sulfur and mag and um, but uh, yeah, this uh, polysulfate is quite a bit cheaper, but unfortunately it's, uh, you can tell that by how dusty it is. It's uh, not very nice to work with. Uh, yeah, I just have to use what I'm given.
Good morning guys, it's now Thursday. Uh, I've just been, uh, had a couple of loads of wheat go out this morning, um, Siskin. Uh, we grow it primarily as a feed wheat. Um, but there is a small premium on it at the moment with the current situation. Seems to be a lack of flour, so uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be going for milling. Um, so what are we doing this morning? Uh, today's video, I've just, well, I've just put the power hour on the John Deere there. I've also got the fencing box on because uh, when I get up to where I do some power hiring, there is a fence in his pair as well, so I could take the kit with me, do that. Uh, before I do that, um, I'm actually waiting for an electrician to come and have a look at one of the elevators. Um, but yeah, before I do that, I've got to go and um, yeah, take some of that barley there, put it in a feeder for the lambs, um, the JCB, so let's get going. So I did try um, having this on the window behind me the other day, but that didn't work very well. Uh, basically, just couldn't pick up the audio, so we'll see what it's like today with the audio. Uh, I will keep talking, hopefully, I won't have to record music over it, and you will hear what I'm saying. Forks on. Thank you. 
A little bit of barley left in the bucket. As I said, there. Yeah. Bucket is a little bit wide for this job, but they'll soon eat it all up. Ow. Now you should be able to just lick it out along there. On both sides. Right guys, just thought I'd sh quickly show you this fencing box that I made. You can see, carries six rolls of uh, netting on the front, 600 meters, quite nice. A few tools on the side there. And here as you can see got my clamps for the netting sledgehammer got my duck a couple of strainers in fact I need one of those now jammy bar in there as well ratchet strap On this side, see, got the chainsaw down the bottom there. That bar just stops the drawers coming open. Uh, various tools in there. Um, don't think I need anything in there. Uh, that's all gate hinges. So what am I after? Where is that? There we've got the crimps there. Basically, everything I need really. Staples, nails. Right. So, I want that. It's a long chain. Must be in here. Let's have a look. Ah. what I'm after. Uh, don't need that, don't need that. Um, I think I need a griffler. We've got an open packet somewhere. Yeah, there's one. I'll stay there for uh, lock it up just in case there's somebody who, I'm sure there's nobody wandering around but just to be on the safe side really want all my tools to go missing see if we can find it I haven't actually seen the broken wire yet down here in the woods somewhere well I see a slack wire I haven't found anything broken yet. Oh, I can see where someone else has been walking down here, so obviously I've got to go a little bit further. Ooh. I am going to go after over it in a minute, I'm sure of it. Whoop. I see the wire. There we go. Right. Oh, got a spare bit of wire on the tractor, I forgot to bring it. But hopefully I'll get that back to where it should be. I 
Right, that's on there. It's better I'll come back next week, turn the rest of these up once he's finished. There's chap fencing down the bottom. Come on, why are you slipping? There we go. Right then. That should hook into here. Oh, it's come off now. Let's get that hooked in first then. Oh, come on. Actually, bring any wire cutters, so hopefully that'll hold. And that was it. Nice, simple little job. Try not to lose everything. Let's try not to fall over when we go back up the hill. See, it always makes people pay attention, doesn't it, Dan? That's the thing. Uh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It was very surprising, like, you know, I'll tell you, everything looked very legit, even as it said, beware of fishing email. Mm. And it was, and, and it was a fishing email. Well, Darren, I'm just saying to Darren, he has done absolutely the right thing there. You've been very wary because, again, this goes back to volume. These scammers. Just turn the uh, air conditioning up for a minute. Hopefully, that won't be too noisy. Right, let's just uh, get rid of that box.
Uh, final pass here. It's so boring, so I expect I will uh, speed up this footage for you. Uh, yeah, so we've never, never actually sprayed this before plowing it, so what will happen now? Wait for these uh, weeds to, um, yeah, wait for these weeds to chit and uh, come back, and then I'll probably put a little sprayer on the gator. Uh, come up here with some Roundup and uh, spray off all the uh, volunteers that come back and uh, we'll probably have another pass with the power and then we will drill it. Um, so yeah, that's it for today, this week. Uh, hopefully back next week with another video. Um, so I've got a bit of spraying to do next week, so uh, we can have a look at the sprayer and go through that. Uh, sure what else is on. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already done it, please subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, and uh, tap that bell, get notifications next time I put up a video. Thank you very much, stay safe.